a good Samaritan there on the scene. More than 16,000 people in the area mm. lost power overnight because of those severe storms in the Kansas City area. Must be pretty scary to be yeah, on the roof waiting for help like that. Surrounded by water. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm. But we here, not bad. No. Just a lot of wind. Well, it, it, is, it was all over the place today. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your poor mom not getting out of the way. Girlfriends are not feeling good today on this Tuesday. <laughs> I will do better. I will do better, Madison County. All I'm right. trying. Yes, uh, and it really, the, the map showed it, and I've got a, a different way to show it with some numbers from the Weather Bug Network. Places like Lafayette and Monticello, inch, inch and a third of rain. But two of our sites in Shelby County, less than a quarter of an inch. In fact, it was less than a tenth of an inch in Shelby, in Shelby. Shelbyville and Morristown, point one two. We could use a little bit of rain. Unfortunately, if you didn't get it today, we don't have much in the forecast. There's a nice looking view from our camera in Kokomo. Just a few fair weather clouds, and as Andrea pointed out, it is breezy, and the winds are picking up behind this weather system that brought us some much needed rain some of us so much needed rain latest view of the radar over the last hour or so shows the majority of the rain now pushing south of central indiana so go ahead and make some evening plans it is 80 degrees with a west wind now at 14 miles per hour dew point sitting in the mid 60s oh but these dew point temperatures are going to take a tumble over the next few days my favorite graphic of the day shows dew point temperatures falling into the middle and upper 50s now through the end of the weekend what this means is going to be much more comfortable across central Indiana. It's been sticky the last few days. Weather pattern is changing, and it all starts this evening. A few clouds, and it will be breezy. Eventually, those winds will come out of the northwest near 15 miles per hour until the sun goes down. We'll spend the evening in the 70s by 11 p.m., dropping to 70 degrees. Out the door on Wednesday morning, clearing skies. Early morning temperatures will be close to 60 degrees. I do think we'll have a few places in the upper 50s. First thing tomorrow, and then high temperatures tomorrow afternoon in the 70s. We'll forecast middle and upper 70s, Monticello 76, Lebanon 75, Anderson the high of 77 tomorrow afternoon, Broad Ripple and Cumberland 77, Greenwood 78 along with Morgantown and Columbus 79 degrees. Make some outdoor plans tomorrow, lots of sunshine. Temperatures will climb from the upper 50s and low 60s to the low 70s by noon. And again, with those highs in the middle and upper 70s. With clear skies, temperatures tomorrow night into early Thursday will drop into the low to mid 50s. Little fall feel over the next couple of mornings. And afternoon temperatures will stay in the 70s through the end of the work week. 79 less humid tomorrow, 76 with some sunshine on Thursday. Temperatures will continue to fall as we forecast early morning temperatures in the low to mid 50s through the end of the work week. Friday's high 76. For the upcoming weekend, lows in the 50s and high temperatures near 80 with some sunshine both Saturday and Sunday. All right.